healthcare in our country is definitely failing. We began growing our own food in the early 70s. Hey, welcome to another episode of Just Think. It seems that some of you think that I may have been just a little bit ab abrasive in some of the previous episodes. Well, I appreciate your feedback. It's nice to know that some people care enough to speak up. Anyhow, I'll try not to let my passion come across in such a way moving forward. Well, with that being said, today we're going to talk about some alternatives to Western medicine. We're going to touch on some of the reasons why you might seek these alternatives, as well as some of the conditions that are successfully treated using these methods. There's even a word in there that I had never heard of before, and I'm going to explain it to you. When somebody is considering an alternative uh, treatment, you know, definitely figuring out uh, which providers you're interested in even going to. Yeah. I definitely think uh, everybody can benefit from uh, uh, alternative therapies. Trying to be a savvy consumer versus just falling along uh, blind leading the blind, essentially. So if I don't want to take meds, what are some of the other options? There's definitely a variety of different alternatives out there for a patient looking to get outside of the Western medicine approach, whether it's through chiropractic, acupuncture, massage, uh, naturopathic medicine. Uh, those would probably be the top four choices. Common conditions that we see that are resolved or dramatically helped without the use of prescriptions uh, have been uh, chronic neck pain, chronic low back pain, numbness and tingling, radicular symptoms into the extremities. Radicular symptoms? Well, if you never heard of that before either, here's what I found. Check this out. According to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, radicular pain is caused by irritation of the sensory root or the dorsal root ganglion of a spinal nerve. Yeah, sounds painful, doesn't it? Spine? Nerve? That hurts. <laughs> Anyhow, I imagine there's a lot of other conditions that can be and are being successfully treated without meds or surgery. I wonder what some of those might be. There's a ton of different conditions that we've seen people benefit from. Headaches, migraines, chronic pain, the osteoarthritis, insomnia, carpal tunnel, fatigue in general. 80% of the people in the country will experience low back pain at some point in time in their life. A lot of people will self-medicate with uh, ibuprofen, uh, Tylenol, or painkillers, and they're not necessarily really treating the cause. And so the cause becomes exacerbated and gets worse and worse with each episode, typically. Well, that's me for sure. Lower back pain, self-medicating, never got better, just got worse. Yeah. I know what that's like. It's getting better now, though. With just that simple you know, improvement in their quality of life, those conditions can be avoided, not necessarily reversed, but avoided, which I think is really where we need to go as a country. Look at what we can do to avoid certain conditions, not say, oh, early detection, now you have this condition, now we have to do this for you. What can you do to avoid it? Were you ever told that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure? Well, I'm pretty sure that the way the system works today, it's got to be worth a lot more than a pound of cure. I think the roles in the country need to be reversed. You know, chiropractic, acupuncture, those types of therapies uh, have been around for thousands of years. Alternative medicine should be the portal unless it's an emergency. Emergency care here in our country is ranked number one out of all industrialized countries. Out of the top 17 countries, we rank last in health care. There's a big disparity there. Urgent care, yes, we have the greatest system in the world for it. If you get in a car accident and have broken bones or you have cancer, yeah, I don't want to see you in my office. I want you to go to the hospital. You can get much better care there. But if you don't have those conditions, starting with the alternative health care provider is going to give you much better results, I feel. The system and model needs to change in our country in order for us to, you know, stay solvent as a country, and also to see uh, our health care improve instead of continuing its decline. That's uh, my 10 cents on it. <laughs> <laughs> as always, you don't have to agree. Just think. <laughs>